What if I told you that in the next 24 months, most of the apps you use today will become obsolete? Not because better apps are coming, but because apps themselves are becoming extinct. Hey everyone, I'm Swati and today we are diving into something massive that's happening right now in the tech world. The complete transformation of software as we know it through AI agents. Don't just take my words for it. Listen to what Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella recently said. I think the notion that business applications exist, that's probably where they'll all collapse, right, in the agent era. When the CEO of one of the world's largest software companies predicts the end of traditional software, we need to pay attention. But here's what makes this even more interesting. Before we dive into what's happening, let me paint a picture of where we are today. Look at your phone right now. Count how many apps you have. The average person has 80 apps installed, but only uses 9 daily. Why? Because each app is a silo, a separate tool that does one thing well, but doesn't talk to other apps. This is about to change dramatically. Let's break down how traditional software works. User interface layer, buttons, forms, menus, design pattern we've used for 40 years. Each action requires multiple steps. Business logic layer, rules about how data should be processed, predetermined workflows, hard-coded limitations. Data layer, databases storing information, APIs connecting different services, data validation rules. I think the notion that business applications exist, that's probably where they'll all collapse, right, in the agent era. Because if you think about it, right, they are essentially CRUD databases with a bunch of business logic. The business logic is all going to these agents. And these agents are going to be multi-repo CRUD, right? So they're not going to discriminate between uh, what the backend is. They're going to update multiple databases and all the logic will be in uh, the AI tier, so to speak. Um, and once the AI tier becomes the place where all the logic is, then people will start replacing the backends, right? We, we people, you know, that's what, you know, in fact, it's interesting. As we speak, I think we are seeing pretty high rates of wins on Dynamics backends um, and the agent use. And we are going to go pretty aggressively and try and collapse it all, right? Whether it's in customer service, whether it is in, you know, uh, by the way, the other fascinating thing that's increasing is just not CRM, but even our, what we call finance and operations. Uh, because people want more AI native biz apps, right? That means the biz app, the logic tier can be orchestrated by AI and AI agents. Now here's where AI agents change everything. Instead of navigating through these layers, imagine just saying what you want. I need to plan a team offsite for 12 people next month, book venues and flights and stay within $15,000 budget. Traditional approach would require opening calendar app, checking everyone's availability, switching to travel sites, comparing value prices, creating spreadsheets for budget, sending multiple emails, managing responses. With an AI agent, it understands the it understands the complete task, accesses all necessary data sources, makes intelligent decisions, executes multiple actions across systems. Handling all the coordination reports back with options or completion. Let me show you three real examples of this transformation. Customer service, traditional way, chat apps, ticket systems, knowledge bases, agent based, one conversation that can access everything and actually solve problems. Financial planning, traditional way, multiple apps for budgeting, investing, taxes, agent based, continuous financial advisor that knows everything about your money. Project management, traditional way, complex software with steep learning curves. Agent based, natural conversations that coordinates everything automatically. This shift has massive implications. For businesses, complete restructuring of software budgets, focus on data quality over UI UX. New security and privacy challenges. For developers, shift from front end to AI ML skills, focus on API development. New job roles emerging. 
for users, learning curve becomes minimal. More natural interaction with technology, better integration of services. But it's not all smooth sailing. We need to address privacy concerns with agents accessing multiple systems, security implications of broader access, user trust and adoption, technical limitations and failures, job market disruption, Based on the current trends, here's what I predict for the next three years. 50% reduction in the new traditional app development. Major tech companies launching agent platforms. New programming paradigms focusing on agent development. Emergence of agent orchestration as a key skill. Traditional UI becoming secondary to agent interfaces. So what should you do with this information? Start experimenting with available AI agents. Learn about prompt engineering. Focus on data structure and API development. Watch for companies leading this transformation. What apps do you think will be the first to be replaced by agents? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the future of technology. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.